Oh, Dix is an audio coding algorithm. Uh, came out of Queen's University Belfast. Um, it was a result of a PhD study done by Dr. Stephen Smith. He attacked a number of different market sectors, uh, the music, film, post-production, radio broadcast. And at that stage, uh, he probably had his greatest, or the greatest breakthrough for Aptex was uh, a link up with uh, DTS, Digital Theatre Systems. Uh, with Steven Spielberg and uh, he made a decision to use Aptex so you know that that involved then um, films like Jurassic Park, Saving Private Ryan, uh, Schindler's List and laterally um, Tim Tim to, uh, to be recorded using Aptex. It was then moved into music and film and post-production um, you know and that allowed us to have a lot of uh, access with the likes of Pixar and Disney and um, the Skywalker Ranch, George Lucas. They were quite interesting times, taking us to Hollywood and uh, to these studios as well, uh, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, from there, we moved into radio broadcast, which means that you know, there's 44,000 radio stations worldwide. You know, some are like 30,000 are using Aptex. So between the radio broadcasters, the digital uh, theater, and um, the voiceover work, we've touched a, a lot of lives um, on a daily basis. About five or six years ago, we started to do more work, more work with Sennheiser. We always had a strong relationship with Sennheiser for a number of different applications, um, primarily in the professional audio space, like the digital wireless microphones. There was a guy who worked in that, uh, in that uh, business unit in Sennheiser who walked across to Consumer Electronics to do um, head up the Bluetooth headset and he um, did some critical listening, listened to what SBC could provide with Bluetooth as it was then, felt that it wasn't uh, fit for purpose, it would have damaged the Sennheiser brand, contacted us because he knew um, the performance of Aptex and he um, asked us to take the Aptex codec and put, make it available on the CSR platform for Sennheiser and we did that and that allowed us to bring the first uh, headset to market about five years ago.